A perpetuity is a steady stream of cash flows of equal amounts that are to be received or paid indefinitely. A perpetuity is a form of an ordinary annuity and is sometimes called a perpetuity annuity. A true perpetuity is rare, but they are not non-existent. Around 1871, the British government issued a bond that was a true perpetuity known as a console. The purchaser of a console was entitled to receive an annual coupon payment at a fixed rate forever. You may wonder why or how a government or entity would want to agree to such a long-term commitment of payments. They do this because they can guarantee payment by reinvesting the money from the purchaser into investments that earn a higher return. The formula to find the present value of a perpetuity is the cash flow divided by the available interest rates. When we find the present value of a perpetuity, we're finding the present value of all future cash flows individually and then adding them up to find the present value of a perpetuity. Since a perpetuity lasts forever, it would be impossibly time consuming to do this. However, we can simplify the formula by simply dividing the cash flow amount by the rate of return. You may wonder how it would be possible to find the present value of an infinite number of cash flows. This is due to the time value of money. The further into the future the cash flow is received, the less significant its contribution to the present value is. For example, a $100 cash flow received one year from today would have a present value of about $90.91 if discounted at a 10% interest rate. A $100 cash flow received 30 years from today would only have a present value of around $5.73 discounted at the same interest rate. To take this a step further, a $100 cash flow received 50 years from today would only have a present value of about 85 cents. And finally, a $100 cash flow received 100 years in the future discounted at the same 10% interest rate would only have a present value of less than a single penny at about seven-tenths of a cent. Therefore, even though there is an infinite number of cash flows, they eventually become so insignificant that they hardly have an impact on the present value of the perpetuity as a whole. Let's try an example. John is to receive $100 a year for the rest of his life. There are other low-risk investments available that could earn a rate of 5% per year. What is the present value of John's perpetuity? Let's plug in our figures to the formula to solve the present value of a perpetuity. Since John is to receive $100 annually for the rest of his life, and there are available investments earning 5% per year, what is the present value of John's perpetuity? Let's plug in our figures to the formula to solve the present value of a perpetuity. Since John has received $100 annually for the rest of his life, and there are available investments earning 5%, which is our discount rate, we simply divide $100 by the interest rate to find the present value. Therefore, John's perpetuity has a present value of $2,000. Now let's try a slightly more difficult example. Suppose Paul is to receive $100 at the end of every month for the rest of his life and there are available low-risk investments currently earning 5% interest annually. What is the present value of Paul's perpetuity? Since Paul's cash flows are occurring monthly, we need to divide our rate of 5% by 12 before plugging it into our formula. So our cash flows remain the same at $100. However, our interest rate changes because we're dividing 5% by 12, giving us an interest rate of 0.4166666%, which expressed in decimals is 0.0041666667. We plug these values into our perpetuity formula, and we find that Paul's perpetuity is worth $24,000 in present value terms.
Hey, thanks for watching my video, but help me help you. Please don't forget to subscribe, share my videos, rate, comment, visit my websites at subjectmoney.com and excelfornews.com, and please watch some of our other video tutorials on finance and Microsoft Excel. Thanks.